Campbell. Mm -hmm. Mike Campbell. This Hunter Stop. We found out late this afternoon, Clark County Job and Family Services has custody of the children. A spokesperson told us it will not talk about ongoing investigations. Court documents show the three-year-old is now in foster care. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast. That's weather coverage you can count on. Busy afternoon, as we've been talking about, we're showing you some of the damage, the hail, the strong winds, and, and the heavy rain. And as Robert and I were just talking a few moments ago, now what? I mean, look exactly. at these temperatures. What's going to happen after this? We better hold on. Yeah, we're still going to keep some rain with us in the forecast, but the biggest change is that the severe weather threat is really pretty much gone now. So what we're dealing with are some showers potentially overnight, and then, yes, the cooler temperature. So let's break it down and see what do we have going on. We're trending cooler, but showers do remain in the forecast. We'll see a few stray showers probably tonight, but tomorrow in the afternoon and as we move into Friday and then even into the weekend, we do see the chance for some showers remaining in the forecast. And then we'll probably have a couple nights below freezing. Yeah, I know it's spring, but temperatures are going to be down in the 20s probably a few nights as well. So the radar has been pretty quiet, but if we take a look across other parts of the state, around East Ohio, you can see showers now moving into Pennsylvania, and then also West Virginia. Even had a severe thunderstorm warning in West, West Virginia, but a lot of that shower activity, it, it's weakening, and it's moving off toward New England, while the rest of the Buckeye State is remaining dry for the most part. If you take a look off, look off to the west, in the Hoosier states, you can see a few showers, certainly not intense, no thunderstorms, but a lot of this moisture will probably be making its way across the Miami Valley here overnight, so don't be surprised if you hear a few sprinkles moving into the overnight hours, and then probably moving into the afternoon, too, we'll see some times where we have some shower activity, but cloud cover, that will probably remain with us overnight. We might see that break up a little bit moving into tomorrow, so a little bit of sunshine peeking through, but... Not very much. We're looking at a lot of cloud cover to remain with us with the chance for showers moving into tomorrow. So looking at all four different cities here on the map, you can see it's pretty quiet. It's quiet in Xenia, it's quiet in Greenville, downtown Springfield, Salina, and here in Dayton, 49 degrees, looking at some partly cloudy skies. But again, we'll probably see that cloud cover increase with some of that thicker cloud cover moving in from Indiana. And the wind, just a little bit of wind, it's making it feel like 41 degrees. Actually, I shouldn't even, shouldn't even say a little bit of winds, but a little, little bit breezy out there, looking at winds about 24 miles per hour out of the west-southwest. And so it'll probably be a little bit breezy, continuing a little bit overnight. You can see, moving into the next several hours, I talked about the chance for at least a few stray showers. That's what's popping up here in the future cast with some mostly cloudy skies. And then as we move into the afternoon on Thursday, you can see another chance of some showers. But again, no severe weather or anything like that. And you do see the breakup in the cloud cover partially, but... Overall, the forecast is mostly cloudy with the chance for some showers. And really a similar story moving into Friday. But if you move later into Friday, not only do you see showers, here's a look at about 1030. You start to see a little bit of blue here moving into early Saturday morning as well. We've been mentioning the fact that since temperatures are dropping, wouldn't be surprised if there's a snowflake mixed in there among the showers across the Miami Valley moving into early Saturday morning. Temperatures tomorrow not going to be as warm as today. You can see temperatures dropping tonight down into the low 40s. And then as we move into tomorrow afternoon, winds are still out of the west, southwest a little bit. And you only get up to the low 50s, really just barely. And then as we move into uh, excuse me, Friday morning, start to see temperatures dropping down to the 30s. And then I'd say by the weekend, you'll see those temperatures dropped down to the 20s. In fact, this weekend, look at the high temperatures, 44 for Saturday, 43 for Sunday. So definitely cooler for cooler than average for this time of year. By the afternoons in mid to late March, we average about 54, 55 degrees. So it will be chilly. 45 tonight with a few stray showers, a little breezy, and then 53 tomorrow, mostly cloudy, again with some showers. And the next seven days show the coldest days really moving into early Sunday, early Monday morning. A little bit chilly, maybe some sunshine. And then we're not even done completely with the rain yet with some showers returning Tuesday and Wednesday. James? All right, Robert, thank you. Yeah, a bunch of guys playing rec hockey never expected they would have to save one of their teammates' lives when he went into cardiac arrest. Take a look. He said, we're Schulte. That is a man by the name of Jim Schulte. He is with the Toledo Fire and Rescue. There he is right there. His dog's running along with him. Schulte had just finished his own hockey game and was in the locker room. He ran out to help, and as you can see, the dogs followed. 
They followed Schulte onto the ice as he started doing CPR. As is while the referee ran to get a defibrillator. And Lieutenant Schulte saved the, said the defibrillator saved Bruce's life. Bruce needed triple bypass surgery. There's a picture of that man there. He's in the hospital. It's going to be okay. Toledo Fire and Rescue said, this is a good reminder why everyone should learn CPR. We're seeing 